Hi sisters, it's Jake here, and I'm back with another video. CP3, BDE, NFT, Gary V. I was trying to come up with different things to make videos on. My last video did really well, thank you so much for that. And I was thinking, who's one of the most obnoxious people in media right now? Is it James Charles with his new haircuts? No. Is it Shane Dawson trying to make a comeback the day after I recorded my video on him? No, but that is very annoying. And then I thought of Gary V. Gary Vee has been on my TikTok for you page, my Instagram, my YouTube. I have not been able to avoid this guy. Before Gary Vee started making these videos daily and doing TikTok trends, I was actually a supporter of his. I like success stories and I like learning about how people became wealthy. That's all great. Now that he's one of the richest people in media, he doesn't need to make shitty NFTs to pocket a cool hundred million dollars. In doing some research, I came across this video called Four Minutes That Might Change Your Life. And so I was intrigued. Four minutes that might change my life. Okay. I mean, this guy is a multi-millionaire, so he must be doing something right. How do I do it? But do I have the fucking obnoxious audacity? I'm gonna actually, I'm gonna answer that right now for you. Yes, I do think that you have the obnoxious audacity. I don't even need to hear the rest of that sentence. Obnoxious is the key word and you are it, sir. <sighs> This morning, on a nice little Sunday, show him D-Rock, it's a nice Sunday. I... Okay. I woke up with a chip on my shoulder to talk about this audacity, this fucking audacity. I think Gary Vee has this interesting tactic where he just repeats the same things over and over and then makes you feel stupid if you're not a millionaire as well. Eight billion, you, I'm talking to you. Me. That your judgment if NFTs is a good idea or not, or if collecting marbles, show it, or collecting old transformers, show it, or fucking some cup from the 1800s, fucking show it. I understand that certain things over time grow in value, but I feel like if you go on eBay and sort anything by highest selling price, you'll get results like that. That people think the world is either or instead of and, instead of and. <laughs> okay, we get it. You don't need to say and again. <laughs> Either or instead of and. And why did you pause like that, Gary? Did you think that D-Rock was going to cut? No, 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 no. You're so addicted with or. Collectible watches are smart. Uh, collectible fucking sneakers are smart, but Thundercats are not. This is the behavior of a coked out NFT, bro. Sports car, bad. NFT, good. Getting education, bad. NFT good. I find it fascinating that Gary Vee can just have like sort of a large assumption of the mass population whilst being one of the most out of touch people on the planet. I don't think this is an either or society. I think people are trying to make money in any way. Gary Vee's either or scenario is either he steals money from his less wealthy followers or he makes you feel like shit in his social media posts. If you dropped an M and an E at the beginning and the end of that fucking terrible word or, and made it more, you would actually live like <laughs> What? I think that means nothing, Gary. I think what you just said, if you put an M and an E on either side of or makes more, I don't think that means anything. If people don't wanna invest in NFTs, they don't have to invest in NFTs. Just because you want them to, you want them to give you your hard earned money. Maybe some of them have the wherewithal to say, hey, right now I don't think I'm financially well off to spend $10,000 on a drawing of a fish. Gary. I feel like all of this is just an excuse to have things. Gary Vee's investing style turned from investing in stocks that he believed in to just buying collectibles to make himself feel something. Gary, those Funko Pops are awesome, but what's your home life like? Biggest issue in life is that people think it's either or, that their religion is better than someone else's, that the political stance is better than somebody else's, that their product is better than someone else's, that their content is better. Okay, but stop, you know, because <laughs> you can say that it's disappointing that people think that their blank is better than somebody else's, but you don't have to repeat it four times. We understand it. There's this really interesting way that Gary Vee talks to his fans, almost babying them. Like, if I don't repeat this four times, you won't get it into your stupid head. Gary, I understand what you're saying. You don't have to repeat things to distract from the fact that you're 4'11". Your fucking inability to understand everybody can get theirs. Everybody can get theirs. I'm going to the fucking national this upcoming week or in two weeks to Chicago and I'm gonna buy a fuckload and I need a fuckload of cardboard. 
I think he's crazy. <laughs> I understand sports cards. Like I like sports cards, but if he's spending thousands and thousands of dollars on cards and then throwing them around to diminish the value, I don't think that there's any other explanation than this man has lost it. I'm also going to buy NFTs on the blockchain. Well, that's, that's really cool actually. That, that is a really cool NFT. Anybody who says that a Picasso is going to maintain its value over time more than whatever the fuck this thing is, is absolutely crazy. Because when you look at this, it really makes me think, wow, this is a new generation of artists and all of them are so talented. And very easily in my fucking heart and in my soul and in my brain and in my fucking ethics. Gary, stop. You're coked out! And my soul and my ethics. And the shit that I'm not interested in. Watches, sports cards, handbags. Stick with me now, real estate. You know how many fucks I give about putting my money in real estate? Zero. Gary, I think that putting money in real estate would actually make a lot of sense. You could purchase a building, renovate it, rent it out to different people, and then have generational wealth for you and your future family. I think that would make more sense, as it's a consistent return. You don't think it's a little risky to have your kid's college fund in a Fortnite Funko Pop? Meanwhile, do I understand that some people do well, almost everybody, that's an icon in real estate, and buy sports teams. <laughs> what is happening? And buy sports teams. Bye -bye. Gary just said he has no interest in real estate, but almost everybody who does it does well. So wouldn't you want to promote that to your audience instead of driving up the prices of your own market of NFTs and sports cards? But do I have the fucking obnoxious audacity to think my fucking one opinion of not being interested in making passive income in real estate is right? No, I do not. What? As an opinion leader for what seems like most of the general public, I think that you should try to be right. This is just an ad for your NFTs. Gary V just admitted that he's not right. And almost everybody continues to follow him. This world is an and world. And every fucking person that thinks it's an or world will continue to fucking lose and cry and fucking leave hate because you're fucking sad because you think the world is limited when it's fucking not. So figure it the fuck out. The world is about and. The world is about more. And the more you put passion into leaving little snide comments or thinking you're right over a drink or it's a fad. You said fucking social was a fad, dick. You said TikTok was a fad, asshole. You said oh the God. internet was a fad. <laughs> Share this video to change somebody's life or put them into a deep, dark depression. His face at the end makes me so upset because he's looking at the camera going, People are gonna eat this up. And I don't mean anything that I'm saying. He made a hundred million dollars in a couple days during an NFT project. This is not a common thing, Gary. You're asking people to invest in NFTs so that you can then profit from it. And there could be a chance that NFTs last forever. But I almost guarantee that Gary Vee's collection of fish will not. I've had side hustles my whole life and I think it's a great way to make some money. But the difference between Gary and I is that I'm not selling digital assets for a minimum of $5,000 each to a fan base that is so desperate for financial freedom they'll do anything. I think Gary V is one of the biggest problems in this society, not him as a person, but what he's speaking. In one video, he can teach you how to go around your house and list things on eBay to supplement your income. And then in the next video, he can say how dumb you are for not buying his product. While standing in front of a background of things, just things, Funko Pops, sports cards, shoes. These are all things. These are physical things that you can flex to people. Like I said, Gary V started in stocks. It's hard to flex stocks. But if you throw around and damage a bunch of sports cards and then show a screenshot of how valuable they are, you can make people think they're doing something wrong, which in turn makes them invest their entire life savings into Gary V's fish. Anyways, that's it for today's video. I will talk to you all later. Thank you so much for the support on my last video. I think I'm just going to make videos on Shane Dawson now because Gary Vee has rubbed me the wrong way. I'm about to record a podcast, so go check that out on my Patreon if you're interested. Subscribe if you haven't, and I will talk to you all later.